In this video, I'm gonna teach you a dead simple way to make up to $10,000 a month as an Amazon influencer without having to drive any of your own traffic. All you have to do is film short one minute product reviews, post them on Amazon, and you'll start making money completely passively. Sound too good to be true? Well, this isn't clickbait, and I'm gonna explain the entire process step by step. What's up everyone, my name is Steve Chu and I run two seven-figure businesses over at Bumblebee Linens, which sells handkerchiefs online, and my e-commerce blog over at mywifequitterjob.com. I'm also the author of the Wall Street Journal best-selling book, The Family First Entrepreneur, which teaches you how to achieve financial freedom. Now, if you are interested in learning how to sell online, make sure you sign up for my free six-day e-commerce mini course below. Now, in order for you to make money using the method that I'm about to teach you, the one caveat is that you must first qualify for the Amazon Influencer Program. The Amazon Influencer Program is a program that allows you to earn money promoting the products that you love on Amazon. And as part of the program, you get your own custom web page on Amazon with your own vanity URL. When anyone visits your page and makes a purchase, you earn a commission for the sale. But that's not all. The best part about this program is that you can post video reviews of any product on Amazon and your video lives on the product page itself. And when anyone watches your video and buys, you get a cut of the sale. So basically, Amazon is driving traffic to your videos for free and paying you for it. Now, once you film a video, it will be placed in the search results, the product listing page itself, the discover feed, and the inspire feed on Amazon. Here's what an Amazon influencer product video looks like. Most of the money to be made will be from people watching your videos on the product listing itself. You excited yet? So how do you get in? In order to apply for the Amazon Influencer Program, you must either have a YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Facebook account with over 200 followers. However, you are more likely to qualify if you have at least 1,000 followers. Now, in the event that you don't have a social media account with enough followers, you can simply buy an account for $100 or so on sites like FameSwap. Once you apply, Amazon will look at the number of followers you have along with other engagement metrics to determine if you are a good fit for the program. Trust me, it's pretty easy to get in. Amazon states that they accept micro-influencers and nano-influencers as long as you have an engaged audience. And I've seen YouTube channels, Instagram, and TikTok accounts with very few subscribers get accepted into the program. Anyway, once you get accepted comes the fun part, filming videos and making money. Here's how to get your first video placed step-by-step. Step. Now, the first step is to choose a good product to make a video for, and you must follow all of these guidelines exactly to maximize your revenue potential. After all, picking the right product to review is 90% of the work, and you have to get this step right in order to make any money at all. So first off, just because you film a video for a product does not necessarily mean that it's gonna make it onto a product listing. Ultimately, Amazon determines which videos go where. However, you have a much better chance of getting your video onto a listing if you simply choose a listing that has very few videos created for it. So basically, the first step in finding a product is to pick a product that does not have any other influencer videos on there yet. All you have to do is go to that product listing, check to make sure that the upper carousel placement is unlocked for the product, and then make sure that not all the influencer video slots are full. The next step is to make sure that the product gets a ton of sales. After all, if no one is really buying a product, then obviously you aren't gonna be making any money either. There are several ways to check sales volume for a product on Amazon. You can use a tool like Jungle Scout, which literally tells you how much money every single listing is making on Amazon. Another way is to look at the number of reviews that a listing has. And in general, people leave reviews on products one to 3% of the time. So you can multiply the number of reviews on any listing by 50 to get an idea of the total sales volume. You can also look at the BSR rating. BSR stands for Best Seller Rank, and it's where Amazon assigns a number to the product that tells you how well a product is selling. The lower the number, the better. And then finally, I like to check to see if the brand is paying for Amazon-sponsored ads. And in general, if the seller is buying ads, that means that they are serious about driving traffic to their listing. Anyway, once you determine that product gets a ton of sales, you also want to check the review rating as well. And in general, you should always try to review products that are rated 4.4 or higher. But most importantly, you want to pick higher price items to make videos for. Remember, you are earning a commission based on the percentage of the cost of the product. Reviewing more expensive products always means more money for you. So in a nutshell, the product research process mainly involves manually checking listings based on these guidelines. 
but it does get kind of tedious. Now, are you curious how the pros do it? Remember when I mentioned that finding the right product to review is 90% of the battle? Well, in order to easily find products to review, you should use a tool like Fluencer Fruit. Basically, Fluencer Fruit scrapes all the listings on Amazon and quickly tells you whether there are any influencer video slots open, the number of sales, the amount of commission you'll make per sale, and the review rating all in one nice table, which drastically speeds up the product research process. Fluencer Fruit also assigns a rating number to determine whether that product is worth reviewing or not. And here's a quick and dirty demo. By the way, if you want to follow along with this demo step-by-step, -step, click on the link below this video and sign up for a free seven-day trial. Then go to amazon.com and go shopping. In this example, I chose to search for treadmill desks because I just happened to be in the market for one. And why not buy a treadmill that I can make money reviewing, right? In fact, I pretty much only buy products on Amazon now that I can potentially review later on down the line. Now, once you perform a search on Amazon, the Fluencer Fruit plugin instantly tells you the number of carousel slots open, the exact commission to be made, and provides you with a number that helps you determine whether that product is worth creating a video for. And in general, I like to look for a rating of at least 70 before creating a video for it. This pretty much ensures me that there are video carousel slots open on the listing and that I'll make a decent amount of money on the product. Then, if you click on the banana peel icon in the upper right, Fluencer Fruit will nicely tabulate every single product on the page for your review. Now, as you can tell, tools like Fluencer Fruit allow you to quickly and easily determine which products to buy and review because the information is all right in front of you. By the way, if you are interested in learning more about how to make money with the Amazon Influencer Program, there's a pretty good course that I've linked below that you should check out. Now, once you've found your product, it's time to film the video. Here are some best practices for creating Amazon content. Now, pay attention because Amazon has extremely strict guidelines and you must follow them all or else your video will get rejected. Now, first off, never include any personal info in the video. Now, this might seem obvious, but it happens all the time by accident. For example, never do an unboxing of your product and forget to remove your name on the box. Make sure there are no barcodes, names, addresses, or anything personally identifiable in the video. Even a barcode on a book on your bookshelf can get your video rejected. This is why most influencers film their videos on a plain white background or a wall. You must also never make any medical claims in your videos. You can't say stuff like, this is antibacterial, or this supplement grew back my hair, etc. Also, make sure you never talk about prices or sales. The content you create for Amazon is meant to be evergreen. So don't mention how much it costs, how cheap it is, or whether there's a great deal on it right now. Now, I'm often asked what equipment to use to film your video, and here's what I always had to say. The videos that convert the best on Amazon are not well produced. People like product reviews that are casual and real. So in my opinion, the only camera that you really need is your cell phone. Now, audio, on the other hand, is much more important. Make sure you buy a separate lavalier microphone, which is super cheap. I personally use the Rode Wireless Go 2, but you can easily get a wireless Bluetooth mic for about 20 bucks. Now, in terms of the content on the video itself, all you have to do is answer a question that you might have if you were buying that product. For example, my friend Liz filmed a video about an outdoor canopy that she bought on Amazon. And the main question that she had when she bought it was whether she could set it up on her own. So she literally filmed a time-lapse video of her setting up the canopy entirely by herself in five minutes, and that video alone makes her hundreds of dollars every single month. Now, if you're having problems coming up with content ideas for your product, here are some common influencer video types that do really well. First off, you can do an unboxing video, and these are probably the easiest videos that you can film. Just make sure there's no personal identifiable information in the video, and you should be good to go. Show the product at different angles and let the shopper see the product in its entirety. You can also answer commonly asked questions about the product like my friend Liz did with her video. You can demonstrate the best use cases for the product. For example, one of my friends sells gloves with built-in LED lights and filmed himself under the sink doing some plumbing with the gloves on. Basically, any video that shares personal opinions and or practical examples always work great. Just focus on the pros though, because you want people to actually buy the product. Now in terms of the length of the video, keep it short at around 45 to 90 seconds. Now another question I'm often asked is whether to shoot the video horizontal or vertical, and the answer is that it depends. Amazon uses both types of videos depending on where it is displayed. For example, the Discover and Inspire feeds are always vertically shot videos, 
whereas most product listing videos are horizontal. My best piece of advice here is to shoot your video in 4K horizontally and then cut a vertical video from the same footage and then upload both. Anyway, once you've filmed your video, your Amazon dashboard will let you know exactly where your video has been placed. Sounds fun, right? What will end up happening is that you'll start tailoring your shopping habits based on the products that you can review and it's super rewarding. Now that you understand how to make money as an Amazon influencer, make sure you watch this video here on how to get paid to test products for Amazon.